For the bench press, three points of contact are always maintained with the bench and the floor, with our feet, our butt, and our upper back slash shoulders. Hands should be placed just wider than shoulder width apart, and our thumb is wrapped completely around the bar. Bring the bar down to the chest, do not bounce it off the chest, and then go back up till arms are straight. With the lat pull down, our back maintains a nice straight posture, and the bar comes from straight arms up all the way down to below the chin, almost to the nipple line. For the Arnold press, we start with the dumbbells up and our hands, palms, facing our face. We then push and rotate until our hands are above our head with our palms facing out in front of us. Normally, a military style seat with a back on it would be used. But for these weights, I would like to see no back used and a great posture maintained. This will help build our core muscles and our lower back muscles a little better. With both the bicep curl and the tricep push down, our posture maintains the same. Slight bend in the knee, nice straight back, and a neutral spine for our head and neck. Maintain full range of motion going all the way down and all the way up with both exercises. With the rope, we can flare our wrists at the bottom some, but a lot is not necessary. Last but certainly not least is the Cuban press. This exercise should be done with two and a half, five, and for the strongest athletes, 10 pounds, but no more. It needs to be emphasized, this is a three count up and three count down exercise. It is not to be done fast, but slow and controlled. This exercise is designed to make sure that the shoulders know what to do when they're in a vulnerable position. This will help reduce shoulder injury in the future for all athletes. It will be used many times throughout this season.